Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan here with a video to answer a question we actually received for the podcast, but uh, we've sort of adopted this new philosophy that, hey, if we get a good question in and we don't have time for it on the podcast, well, we'll make a separate video to answer it. Uh, so this is going to be a cool thing we're going to do from now on every once in a while. So I'm excited to get started. So let's jump right into the question. This question comes via Facebook from Eric M asking, how do you guys think WWE goes about choreographing multi-man matches like the Money in the Bank? Do you think they let them mainly improvise with a few big spots in the finish predetermined, or do you think every sequence is rehearsed? Uh, now, this is a great question, and I'm essentially going to uh, go by the fact with several uh, interviews I've heard on podcasts like Talk is Jericho or the Stone Cold podcast that a lot of these are very much rehearsed. I know for a fact the Royal Rumble is very meticulously laid out and you got to think matches, TLC matches, like, uh, you know, Money in the Bank matches, these also definitely have to be rehearsed. I think there's even been footage leaked out. I remember back, way back when, you know, Team Hell No and Ryback versus The Shield, the first Shield match, I remember seeing like leaked photos of them rehearsing before the fact. So these definitely have to be um, rehearsed and for good reason. Uh, things like ladder matches, there's a lot of moving parts, right? So things could get really bad if people are just kind of all out there going rogue, doing their own thing. Uh, you need to know where everybody is at all times for the safety of everybody. You know, people are going to be up high in dangerous places and you can't, you know, Randy Orton can't RKO someone off a ladder that doesn't know that they're supposed to be or whatever. Um, it's going to turn into a total mess and it's you're going to have a bad time, basically. So, yeah, a lot of these definitely are completely rehearsed, um, uh, not down to every single punch, but I, I shouldn't say rehearsed as much as uh, I'm sure they do a rehearsal, but um they are completely choreographed is the word i wanted to say now uh, you can look to a couple of years ago right elimination chamber you got what six guys in there and mark henry is in his pod somebody breaks the pod mark henry has to come out you know he's not going to stand there like a fool waiting for his turn to come out no he's going to do what you would do in a match and he entered the match earlier than he was supposed to. And that match ended up being a big cluster because he, you know, he comes out early. All Everything that was in that plan before has to get thrown out. So it's easy for one of these matches to go completely off the rails if somebody misses their cue or something like that happens. Like what happened to Mark Henry, where the whole the whole thing turns into one giant mess. So, I mean, that seems like a stipulation that's a little, I mean, not a stipulation, but a situation that's a little more unique to the Elimination Chamber or, say, the Royal Rumble, although I don't really see someone coming out early for the Royal Rumble, but someone could easily miss their cue in that match that throws everything off. I mean, the same thing could happen in Money in the Bank if somebody screws up, does something earlier than they're supposed to, or forgets to do something. It could easily mess everything up, but... Yeah, for the safety of everyone involved, I believe those matches are very meticulously planned out so that everybody knows where everybody else is supposed to be at all times so that there's no surprises when you're up on that ladder, you know, ready to grab the briefcase and somebody pushes you off when you're not expecting it. Be way too dangerous. And uh, yeah, so to uh, completely answer it, Yes, any big multi-man match, I would say, is very uh, well planned out. You know, it's difference with singles and tag matches. That's something you do more commonly. I'm sure those can be called a lot more on the fly. But any big multi-man match will be choreographed. Uh, so thank you guys for uh, tuning into the uh, this uh, video for questions. If you want to send in your questions for uh, this uh, video or or a podcast. 
You can send that. Uh, you can message us on Facebook, facebook.com slash bite that cast. Send us a tweet at bite that cast or send us an email at bite that cast at gmail.com. Uh, if you want to go the extra mile in supporting what it is we do, I encourage you to check out our Patreon over at patreon.com slash bite that. You can check out all the cool rewards you get for supporting us. Uh, we also say, hey, if you want to join us, for the live edition of the Bite That podcast, was I trying to start like the um, the Arthur, you know, PBS show intro? I say, hey, um, hey, check out our podcast live now on YouTube, youtube.com slash Bite That Cast live every single Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Or you can catch us later on iTunes and Stitcher for the audio version or check out the video version later on YouTube. So anyway, that's going to do it for uh, for this video, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. 